四月十八日，外交部同工业和信息化部共同组织驻华使节走进中国部委系列活动第四场，制造中国走进工业和信息化部。一百一十余位驻华使馆外交官及国际组织驻华代表了解中国工业和信息化发展情况，参观五 G 通信企业、智能工厂等，感受中国工业高端化、绿色化、智能化发展。活动当天，各国使节走进中国联通创新体验中心、五 G 加智慧医疗、五 G 加智慧生态等领域数字化转型的成果展示，令各国使节耳目一新。多米尼克驻华大使马丁·查尔斯表示，期待和中国利用 5G 通信技术开展农业领域合作。Based on the exhibition, I believe that、uh, my country, Dominica, and China Unicom through the Chinese government can partner to really modernize agriculture for us. Based on what I've seen in the exhibition, it means that. Agriculture has been modernized, modernized through technology, and I believe that we can have some cooperation, whereby some of the technologies, the new innovations in in the technology that I've seen, can be translated to my country, so that we could modernize our agricultural practices to make agriculture become less labor intensive. 加纳驻华大使温弗雷德·哈蒙德在近距离接触五 G 应用场景后指出，五 G 技术将把世界的发展提升至新的水平。I think 5G has brought the world and China in particular to another level of development, but also in all fields, agriculture and especially in the field of medicine and human health, because from what we see, it is to lift us from. Uh, ground zero to another height altogether. I got to understand that you can use this technology to treat water bodies in my country, in Ghana. 同时，多位驻华大使也注意到，当前个别国家企图排除中国 5G 技术产品，并滥用国家安全，限制中国企业开展正常信息通信技术发展与合作。I don't believe there's. That potential threat, but I think if all parties were to sit together, there are definitely opportunities for further collaboration、um, to look at the the experience that China has and the experience that the developed countries and developing countries are going through, and seeing how we can assist each other so that towards the end, we work towards a shared future with common prospects for everybody. Well, you see, there are some countries that. We're trying to blacklist China as it relates to their development of the 5G technology, but it's interesting that those very same countries are today providing 5G technology. So it's really a double standard. But I believe that with、uh, dialogue and、uh, negotiations, that my country, Dominica, can bring in 5G technology from China Unicoms in particular. China is、uh, one of the champions of uh, 5G uh, and very open to cooperation. So this is really very important for developing countries, like for example Lebanon, to know more about this development and to see the possibility of、uh, doing cooperation with this、uh, country. We are willing to do so with no restrictions.